all for being here. Um, it means a lot to me to see a room full of uh, friends and supporters here. Um, we had quite a dramatic race <laughs> for yeah. Seattle's District 2. Um, and now, after over a week of uh, counting ballots, we've learned that we came up short. Um, so this morning I did call Councilmember Harrell and congratulate him on his victory um, for the new uh, District 2 seat. Um, we didn't win the election, but I am so proud of the campaign that we ran, the coalition that we built, and the work we did to bring attention to the issues facing District 2. Housing affordability and the need for tenant protections, um, support for neighborhood businesses and the need for investing in internet infrastructure, and issues around police accountability. Can you believe how far we've come in the last <laughs> year? No, no one expected this campaign to get any traction. Few people were covering this race in the South End, but we listened to the people of the district. We raised our voices so that the issues could be heard, the issues that matter, and we showed what was possible, what was important to us in District 2. And against all odds, including operating on a fraction of the budget uh, that my opponent had, we earned the support of almost 50% of the voters of District 2. <laughs> this campaign and the incredible support of uh, people in the community raised the profile of District 2 and galvanize the community to expect more and to demand more from our leaders. Now that the race is over, it's time for our different communities to come together and unite. It's time for us to remain mobilized and to ensure that District 2 is heard at City Hall. The voters have demanded that their leaders be more responsive, more accountable to the community, and more willing to listen. Here in Seattle, as across the country, we have systems of oppression that push African American families and businesses out of our neighborhoods, that keep immigrant families in poverty, and that privilege those with economic power and give them undue political influence. I hope you'll all join me in supporting Councilmember Harrell and other community leaders in the push to shift that balance of power back to working families. I'm hopeful that Councilmember Harrell's next term of office will be spent addressing the income inequality and the racial justice issues that are faced by the residents and businesses of District 2. To each and every one of you who donated money, your time, your energy, and your moral support to this campaign, I want to say thank you. You've all inspired me so much more than you know. And you've made a real difference for South Seattle. I want to thank my family for their incredible support and love and incredible patience during the last year. And I want to thank my extraordinary campaign team that worked so hard to spread our message of equity and accountability for District 2. Together we raise the profile of our district and together we'll make sure that our communities get the investment and the attention that they deserve. Thank you all for being here today. <laughs>